We know that our climate has varied a lot in the past and it's changing right now, which we can see. But we don't know how glaciers community react to the change yet. Is there more of bacteria, which we, we think there is, there will be. Bacteria, as every living organism, need uh, liquid water to survive. So if there is more water, potentially, there is more bacterial growth, but also they are flushed more often from the glacier surface. So this dynamic is not really simple to, you know, put in a small parts and understand. We need to have a global picture and understand a lot of small processes within it. We have a quite a huge project looking at different aspects of a glacier to kind of understand entire dynamics and have a big picture rather than just looking in small cryoconite holes and saying, oh, we are changing this a lot. <laughs>